Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Lisa and this is a new series called My Cookie Cutter House. <laughs> If you've never been here, welcome. My name is Mira Lisa. I am a 47 year old um, stay at home person. Uh, I am a mom, but my kids don't live with us. We are empty nester. And I'm married uh, to Carlos, who is uh, an accountant in a tech company and works from home. Uh, we are originally from San Juan, Puerto Rico, where I had my two babies my son, 27-year-old Francisco, and my almost 23-year-old Stella. We moved to the States around 13 years ago. Yeah, 13 years ago. And um, since then, uh, we have lived in a couple of states, and we finally bought a house in Texas. We built a house from the ground up uh, when we were in Arkansas like 10 years ago. And um, we then moved to Seattle and we rented there for a while, then decided to move to a middle ground between Carla's job and my hometown of San Juan, because uh, my mom is 75 years old and she needs her daughter to be like one stop or two far away, not be traveling like hours and hours on end, at end. We decided to buy this house, um, I would say like a month ago. Um, we came to scout this area in June and we didn't like a lot of the places that our realtor showed, but we like the town of Georgetown. It's a quiet town, 30 miles up north from Austin. We were craving, you know, um, just a little solitude, solitude and um, quiet. And at the same time, a town that has everything and, um, you know, just a 30 minute drive to downtown Austin. So we put our money on our deposit on a house um, that we, when we move here in September, we are not actually vibing with. So because, you know, the market drop and a lot of things happen, we decided to back out of that contract and we lost our deposit, which was quite substantial. Um, we were at the highest top of our budget and um, that was a big, big, big loss for us. <laughs> Then we moved to, you know, we, we were moving or we moved to a temporary, you know, short term lease apartment town home and we loved it, but we were paying because we were paying short term lease, we were paying a little bit more than the rest who were paying for the same layout. Plus we were paying $30 per pet. We have three pets, that's $90 uh, on top of that for pet rent. So when we went to, you know, just let's just back out of this house contract and just stay in this apartment. When we went to do, you know, um, work with the lease um, contract for the next year, they didn't want to adjust to what people were paying for the same layout, but actually they wanted to raise a hundred dollar more. So we were going to pay like five hundred dollars different than somebody else if we add, you know, like. Um, the, the increase of $100 plus the $90 of the pets. And I know this is TMI, but I want to give you guys a little bit of background. So we took the decision to just, um, you know, start looking. So we had a couple options and uh, we could, you know, start building from the ground up. Now that COVID is a little bit better and they're starting to do that again because when COVID hit, there was a lot of things that builders were trying to not do in building a house from the ground up was something that they were very cautious with. Um, so we found this cookie cutter house, which is pretty much just windows and doors and walls. It has a no character, nothing. Um, even the walls are painted a flat white and um, we are, or I am going to make it my own. So let me turn around and show you, give you guys a tour of the cookie cutter house. <laughs> so I'm not, I don't want to show you guys too much of the entrance, but if you come in through the main door, you're going to find Mr. Wing here. And here we have a coat closet and a little entryway. We take this wall in consideration. 
And then this main wall over here, we have a little, I don't know what this is called. Um, actually, it's, I'm blanking on it right now. But I want to actually give a little bit of character to this area. We have, like I said, flat. Um, it's not orange peel texture, but it has a lot of texture. So white box for sure, flat paint. Um, if we come to the left, we have the first full bath. I wanted to have tubs, but I didn't want to have that fiberglass, you know, thing that they do on the wall. I want to have a tub, although this one is fiberglass. Uh, we have tile around it. So it's not my style. I don't like the black or the gray, but this will be, you know, probably never touch. I don't think I will ever move that or work on it if I have to. Uh, it's a full bath, so it's going to be, I'm going to do the little blinds, but this is going to be whenever somebody comes visit, this is going to be their bathroom. Room number one is to the left of that. And this one, if you're building this house, you have the option to make it a study and get rid of the closet. Um, but again, we didn't have the option to do any of that. So this one faced the front. So I was thinking of making this one a little um, my craft room, or I can make it, uh, you know, like um, an spare room for, you know, whenever somebody visits me or whatever. I like the ceilings. We have the most awful boob. They're not that bad, but they're boob uh, lights. And um, I thought about making it, uh, this one, my craft room. But if um, I have to make a decision because we have to change this floor. Um, I wanted it, if I am going to make this my craft room, make cabinets all the way here. And then probably take some of this off, off to here. And then just wrap it around into this wall. And keep some off the closet, but not you know, this part here that makes no sense. And that will be an easy thing to just get rid of. Um, they're not walking closet. These um, closet are not walking closet. They're quite big, I will say that. Um, quite big and, um, and tall. So we have 10 foot ceilings here. So that gives me a lot of space to do a lot of things but another look another contender for like i said for my craft room i really like this room tons of light uh, all day for my crafting but um this one is facing west so we're gonna get hit by the sun all day long these are wing here's the garage nothing fancy there we're gonna make it a gym um for us and then here is Carlos a library or study. Uh, it's quite dark. He doesn't like it. Um, but uh, for me, my craft for being a craft room, it's, it's not gonna work because it's too. I need windows. Like I need a little bit of light, uh, natural light. Um, so this one has the wood, and I was thinking about making it a library. So have cabinets all the way here. And of course, because it's all white, you cannot see <laughs> anything, but uh, we're gonna have a little couch here. And if I move to the other side, let me just move to the other side, um, to this corner. Um, I was thinking about making cabinets all the way up to the top and then wrap it all the way to here and he can have his little desk here because he has ethernet and the whole thing here. Um, we'll see, he's not, like I said, happy about this room. And um, I mean, like the, this, this was his idea, I just say. Is the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen is white, plain. We have matte, matte white cabinets and you guys know I'm really bad with my kitchen, so thinking what I'm gonna do with this kitchen. Uh, number one, I wanna get rid of this lights. They are huge. I don't know why they place it here. They should have placed it right here. Um, 
and um, another thing that I want to get rid of right away and it was it's not even you know it's just it was part of Carlos and I contract that I'm going to take away this um, tile this tile is porous is white it's not even like shiny or glossy or, no, or nothing and if you can see you have a range here um, I saw this tile on floor in a bathroom in another house and I think they were just like placing whatever they had left of things um, and I think for um, the kitchen it doesn't work I need a little bit more um, finish or a gloss so that's the first thing that I'm going to take off and I'm going to change and I'm thinking what I'm going to do on this wall because you see the tile comes up to here and I wanted it to do something different from the for this area and I want to add more cabinets here because we have a huge spot there and at the same time I don't know it just looks cheaper when the cabinets don't go all the way to the top that's my take I hope nobody gets offended, but I actually need the space for all my baking stuff can be stored up there and forget about. Um, Cause here I have the island, but I don't have, um, I don't have a lot of drawers. So this is for the trash. This is of course, you know, for uh, the sink stuff, dishwasher. I have it, a microwave mountain and the oven. And I have only these two sets of cabinets and then this, I have no cabinets. And if you guys know me, I have a lot of stuff. I used to bake, so I have a lot of stuff. So I only have four drawers in the kitchen and I am hyperventilating because that's a lot. Another thing that's going to change is this color of the cabinets. I need to seal them so I can like, just like, I clean them. I I spend every week cleaning the, the faces of my cabinets because I am I, I cook a lot. So they get smeared with stuff all the time. So I want to make sure that it looks beautiful. Another thing that I want to do, I wanted to add a little cabinet here for my teacups. And I think that like a little hutch. Uh, so that is something also that is priority because I want to display my teacups. This side, we have a wet bar. Guys, I am so disappointed with uh, this. They just placed this thing the other day. This sink situation is so pathetic. It's so bad, but um, I have big plans for this space as well. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this engineer stone that they have going on probably later on if I want to. We will, Carlos said to change it, but um, just baby steps. We are so, or Carlos is so excited about his bar area. And I wanna make it really, really cool. And I didn't want to just do shelves. I want to have my coffee maker here. He wants to have his blender here. He wants to have his wine here. He wants to display all his alcohol and all my glassware and all that. So for that, I need cabinets and shelves and stuff like that. I want to do a little cute backsplash. We want to change that light. So we wanted to make it kind of like inviting from the main living area. Um, and, you know, it's just a, a beautiful place that we, is become, you know, it's part of the decoration um, instead of just like a oh, white box that we have right now. So that's the plan for the wet bar. This is an open concept um, house. So we have no uh, rooms for anything. So here we'll have our main living room, family room, whatever. And then also our dining table. So I will use rugs and stuff. We have not figured out still how we're gonna do this, but um, there's no rooms. People don't believe in rooms anymore. Like rooms are amazing, just close your door and whatever. Um, so we are living in here, so I'm gonna make my best to make um, zones and I want to moody these up a little bit, get rid of that fan, add beams, add molding to the windows, like we don't even have when uh 
nothing. I don't have molding on the windows, so that's why I'm calling it my cookie cutter house. Um, I wanted it, a tree. This is an oak tree. This is a protected th tree, and I got it. Uh, I also have uh, that stone wall that it's not mine and I cannot touch. I have a trail behind me. There's some, there's a little road, a little trail, kind of like a green belt that goes in there. Um, and uh, I don't have a back neighbor, which for me was important. I didn't want to have back neighbors and I wanted to have a tree, but I didn't want to have a tree in the middle of my lawn. Like if you see here, I love them but they have a huge tree right in the middle. And I think the house that is gonna be, the next door is gonna have a huge tree, tree in the middle as well. So we're not gonna go there, but sun, tons of sunlight. And um, this house, that side is the east, west, and of course south. I don't have to tell you guys that. But... Oh well, let's keep on moving. Here I have my laundry room. Right now it has good bones a lot of things that I want to do to it as well, but this will have to wait quite a lot. Again, a gray, boring um, tile. And I think I'm gonna have Fiona's potty, my cat play, uh, stuff here. And then of course, washer and dryer. And I'm, I got those in like an ivory color quite nice though I cannot wait for them to arrive and I want to have a countertop here so I can fold and um, probably later I'm gonna make this cabinets but I love this I want to keep this because we didn't have that in any of the houses before and Carlos like to hang his stuff when it's like kind of like damp so it dries uh, and the wrinkles are or minimize the wrinkles, so that's it. Mr. Wing is here. Um, this is our primary bathroom. Um, I'm quite excited that it face or the windows are east, um, so we get the sunrise. And it's gonna be peeking through these trees, and um, oh, I, 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 it was like okay, like I can compromise on some other things, but that is, I love waking up with the sun. I am one of those. Um, tall ceilings, and then again, a white box, that's it. There's wall to the side, and then we have carpet. Um, we wanted to see if they would change it or add it, and they said no, it is what it is. We can give you the name of the floor, and you can add it. Um, we have tried to find that floor, and it's been kind of impossible, I will say that. So through these two doors, I wish they were like pocket doors or something, we have the primary bathroom. We have a double sink, very little drawers, but um, it didn't have a tub. So I don't like tubs. I dislike cleaning tubs. <laughs> um, and I really dislike this mirror. This is not my style. I wish I have, you know, like two separate mirrors with lights on itself and we will change that. Are we gonna change that? Are we gonna change this? Nice shower. The shower is really nice, actually. I'm not complaining about that. And then this is the only linen storage that we have. It's quite big. I'm not complaining about it. Um, we have to keep it really organized because this is where all the linen and all the extra stuff uh, is going to be stored. To the right of that, we have the primary closet. Um, I feel like it's unfinished. It's usable. I don't know why they didn't put a shelf in here. They said that I can add to it, which, uh, yeah, I can add it. Um, but we are going to change this uh, later on. I want cabinets and I want to make it really pretty and you know have drawers and uh, make it really functional and you know just like a built-in close-up thing so plans for that that will be probably number three or four on the priorities right now but I will say like a year or two down there's a little um, toilet here quite narrow I had to say 
like seriously really narrow and we have this gray everything is gray white and black shoot me um tile <laughs> through this hall um we have two bathrooms we have uh, a bathroom here that is equally big as the other one is 10 by 11 and has this window which is south uh, facing so tons of sun um, and we have you know the simple closet that will work for now I think this is gonna be Stella's room and um, we have another full bath here so this is, will be the third bath and it's very similar if not identical to the other one it's just a little bit more space here on this counter, there's me again. And we want to change, you know, all this hardware, um, make it a little bit more nice. I have probably, I'm gonna add shelves here, or, you know, something, and the usual, we need shower curtains and stuff like that. What the hell? This is bathroom number four, and another container for my craft room. What I like about this room is a little bit bigger than the one that I was thinking, and the window is smaller, although it's really big, south facing, it gets sun during the day, and it rotates, you know? And uh, we have three walls, full walls. So I can store in place and do all this stuff here. And I will have also, here is the closet, and the closet is quite big as well. And we're always thinking about how can we add value in, you know, smart decisions that will be attractive. And, uh, you know, and we're thinking about a buyer's, uh, potential buyer. We are thinking about staying in this home for a while. We want to stay here for a while, but at the same time, we want to make decisions that are smart. And if something happened and we have to sell, we don't have to be injecting a lot of money uh, because we made bad decisions. So. Um, that is my home tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was not too long. And uh, I'm going to start with the kitchen. It's going to happen next week after I settle everything down. I put everything down. We're going to start with that. And we're going to get this ball rolling. Because that, this, this, um, we're in the kitchen. This uh, tile is very, it's not for a kitchen. This is going to be stained and it's going to get greasy and it's going to it's going to look awful um it, it's same for for the cabinets they are they're flat they're flat i didn't even do like a semi-gloss i don't care anyway i'll see you guys soon bye